Well, welcome to the Nuts and Bolts of Fishing Seminar Series. I'm Captain Cephas McCray, and along with my four-legged companion here, we host the Nuts and Bolts of Fishing Series on Fox. Now, I, I really feel strongly about this. There are a couple other things you need to do before you put the boat in the water. Safety first. Check the weather. Check the weather before you go. Check the weather when you're out there on the water. Check it again, check it again, check it again, because here in the south, these little summertime squalls, by the time you hear the thunder, it's too late. You know, and with our tree line here, you can't see storms over the tree line, especially, you know, if you're fishing up close to the bank. And, and I know I've been in some 50 mile an hour gusts on the lake. It looked like the Gulf of Mexico out there. I'm talking, we're talking a white knuckle ride home. Lightning popping everywhere, check the weather. So here, let me just quickly give you a kind of a synopsis of another tool that you can use to not only make you a safer boater, but make you a better angler. A lot of us love to start off a day like this. Fish jump, just jumping in the boat. Can't wait to bite our baits. And then in a matter of minutes, that turns into that. We've all been there, done that. Yep, all right. And then that turns into that. We've all been there before. If you, if, if you can't put yourself in that picture, you haven't been fishing very long. <laughs> and of course, nobody wants to be out in that stuff. So there is a way, there is a tool that will help you know when the weather's about to change and it could be changing for the better or for the worse. You know, it could be fairing up. You know, we might have left and it was kind of drizzly, but we, wow, it's going to turn off pretty today. And equally importantly is how to know with approaching weather patterns what the fishing is going to be like, how you can predict that in advance. It's called Sirius XM Marine. Sirius XM Marine weather. I've had it since the day they started. How many, how many in here have experience Sirius XM weather. Okay, for those of you that haven't, you're really missing out. And I, I don't care whether you got a bass boat or you got a 60-foot cruiser, it's, it's good stuff. Because you get virtually contemporary weather radar better than you're going to get on your smartphone. Wind speed, storm systems, water temperatures, lightning strikes, marine reports, plus you get all the tunes, the news and the sports, through one little receiver. And it's right on top of your chart plotter. You see cloud cover, precipitation, lightning strikes, buoy information. Everybody here fishes salt occasionally? Redfish, trout, speckled trout. You know, we're in coastal areas down there. Storms could come up the water. The ocean gets really crazy in just a few minutes. You can see next red storm cell attributes. You can hover over a storm cell, and it will tell you, because they name every one of them, it will tell you not only where it's at, the direction it's moving, the speed that it's moving at, and the height of the storm, which is an indicator of intensity. This was a couple of weeks, uh, a few weeks ago. Um, lightning strikes me in the center right here. I'm zoomed out pretty big. You see, see Lake Lanier over here, and there's Clark Hill down there. So that's a pretty big zoom out. Um, but I kept a watchful eye on my chart. I, I always leave my XM weather as an overlay on my chart. If there's nothing around, then it just doesn't show anything. Then you start seeing green, then you start seeing a little yellow, and then you start seeing lightning strikes. But here I was, we're fishing, and I saw the storm systems coming across. I kept my eye on it. A lot of times I'd have just said, hey, wow, this is looking pretty nasty. We're going home. But I kept my eye on everything. And during the course of the day, we were able to stay out and fish. Everything stayed well south of us. We got a little wet. We caught fish. You get as textual information on your screen. You get NOAA forecasts and buoy data, alerts like small craft advisories. Okay, so we talked about weather, 
tell me how, I know this is what you're saying, all right, Cephas, tell me how understanding some of these weather patterns, how they can help me be a better fisherman, and what in the world does all this have to do with fishing? Well, the answer is everything. And here's why. Changing weather patterns, weather patterns affect fish just like they affect us. Um, when the weather starts to change, your elbow hurts a little bit, your knee hurts, toes hurt, you get stuffed up. Um, fish feel some of those same things through their lateral lines and their other sensing organs. They can feel the pressure change either with a low pressure system or a high pressure system in the water. And fish will move as a result of that, especially offshore fish. Grouper will sit on the bottom. Snapper will sit on the bottom when a front comes through. It just puts them off their feet. It makes their swim bladders. Fish that have large swim bladders, it really affects them in, in an, it can potentially in an adverse way. They either feel real squeezed in or they feel bloated. You know, sometimes, I don't know, grouper, maybe they just drink too much beer, feel a little, a little bloated. But the, the barometric pressure has a huge effect on fishing. And we've all benefited from the days where right before a front comes through, the bite is spectacular. And then as soon as that front come, hits and settles in, bite turns off. Well, fish, in my opinion, they are looking, they are subject to the big three. The big three, I call them food, safety, and comfort. And it's not always in that same order. But their object is they got to eat something, they got to try to keep from being eaten, and they got to be in a comfortable place in the water column where they can do the other two things. They're going to seek one of or all three of those places to be. And if you as an angler can locate that place in the water, that's the place to be to go fishing. Find where fish are going to be comfortable, where they feel safe, and where they have plenty of food. That's the big three. To know that, one of the factors is weather, is weather fronts. And again, you can on your Sirius XM Marine chart plotter overlay, you can see surface features, highs and lows as they come in. So you can predict a few days in advance or a week in advance. Let's say you're going to go, well, I can go fishing Tuesday or I can go fishing Sunday. Look here, and maybe the answer is I think I'll wait till Sunday. Or I need to go Tuesday because that front's coming in, and after Wednesday, the bite's going to shut down for a few days. The difference between fishing and catching. You also get wind speed and direction. You see wind barbs. In this particular case, it was blowing uh, 15 to 20 um, from the, uh, the northwest. So that tells you, that, that kind of information to tell you where are the windblown point's going to be. Where can I fish where I can stay in a protected cove? This will help you plan that day. And as things change, you'll see the wind shift. I mean, perhaps you'll feel it, but you see the wind shift as a visual representation and look at your chart and go, hey, let's go over here because we ought to be out of the wind there. Cool stuff. And of course, you get the tunes that fish love too. If you've got a cranking stereo system on your boat, um, you know, I've found that uh, stripers like classic rock. I found that tuna like hip hop. And guess what catfish like? Country Western. They like them some Merle Haggard, son. <laughs> now, what you've got there on your tables is a cool thing that SiriusXM is offering. It's kind of exclusive to us. Uh, it's a free trial to try out SiriusXM Marine Weather. Uh, it does require a weather receiver. It's a little puck that you put on your boat, but they'll give you a $100 rebate against that. Uh, Two-month free trial. It's really, really cool stuff. I think that, uh, it, and I've got it on my boat. I can show it to you. Um, if you experience it, and just like your sonar, start to use it and understand it, 
then not only will it help you be safer on the water, but it will help you put more fish in the boat.